Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Microsoft is getting ready to launch Starfield very soon and everyone is super excited about this title. I mean gamers, Xbox executives, everyone uh, is super excited. I mean Starfield obviously is going to be huge. Not only it's a huge game per se for gamers to play, thousands of planets to visit and explore, but also, it's a huge title for Microsoft and Xbox uh, PR-wise and financially-wise. That's why these Xbox executives are super excited about because they want to grow the platform, they want to grow Xbox Game Pass, uh, they want to sell more consoles, etc., etc. But the interesting thing is that a um, number of these executives are saying that uh, this is just the very beginning. I mean, one executive actually did say, I forgot his name because that's not Phil Spencer. I mean, nobody that we usually would talk about, but one of the Microsoft executives did say that this is the ver very beginning of a new era for Xbox. I mean, Starfield launch is right. And I thought about it like recently and um, I'm like, you know what, That's, there's something to it, right? I mean, he may actually be right. I mean, they still have to deliver, right? I mean, because, yeah, there's plans uh, to deliver a number of games at certain times and whatever, right? But if they do deliver, um, Microsoft may... Uh, this may be a, a new beginning for them because if you really think about Xbox Series S and X launch, uh, there wasn't too many games like first. I mean, was there any first party games at launch? I don't remember. Um, then later, um, Microsoft and Xbox Game Studios did deliver a number of titles uh, like Flight Simulator and there was a couple of other titles, but uh, they were not really that huge and all. And that year, like the first year after the launch, there was a lot of hype because that was also uh, fresh after Bethesda p purchase and stuff. So there was a lot of buzz going on surrounding Xbox. But then um, last year was not was actually pretty bad for Xbox and uh, that kind of interest and that buzz kind of died off a little bit. And um, but it's actually coming back and it, uh, you know, you can feel it. Everyone feels it like media are actually more interested in Xbox again. Um, you know, Microsoft is being talked about uh, uh, again and that's what they need. They need PR and stuff. But like I said, Starfield is just the very beginning because um, even Phil Spencer, in one of his recent interviews with IGN, he did say that um, they will be, they are sure now that they will be able to deliver these at least four big titles a year. And if you actually think about it, like this year, um, looks like they will deliver that um, because they launched Hi-Fi Rush at the very beginning of the of this year, along with uh, Age of Empires 2 Definite Edition, I think. So that's two titles already. And then there was Minecraft Legends, uh, which was okay game in my opinion. And Redfall was a flop, I know, but you know, realistically speaking, like talking about like numbers, you know, it was considered as a AAA title. Yeah, it it failed, but it is what it is. Uh, now we just got uh, Age of Empires actually, like yesterday, I think, uh, for Xbox Age of Empires four, and you know. Next uh, next week we are getting Starfield and Forza Motorsport in October. So that's like like for this year, it looks like we're talking about like six titles. Did I count that right? And I understand that you not know, like not every game may be everyone's cup of tea, and that's normal. Uh, but if you cons but if you take that and you, you add all these. Um, Xbox Game Pass games, I would say that this year is actually pretty good for Xbox, like way better than last year, because last year was actually pretty bad, not only on first party front, but also even when it comes to like Game Pass games, 
There were a couple of interesting titles, but they were not as big as games that were delivered this year. Like if we talking about Xbox Game Pass, for example, we got uh, Wulong, we got Atomic Heart, we got uh, what else? I mean, a couple of good titles. I don't remember all these games from the top of my head, really. Um, so there's always something to play. Uh, but first party wise, like I said, Age of Empires 2 Definite Edition and now um, 4, um, Minecraft Legends, uh, Hi-Fi Rush, Redfall, Stalker, uh, sorry, Starfield and Forza Motorsport in October. And like moving forward, because, you know, it's supposed to be a new, er you know, beginning of new er era. So like Forza Motorsport later this year, but next year we're looking at Avowed. Ninja Theory is Hellblade 2, that's confirmed already. Uh, we're going to get these smaller titles, but these are not first party. I'm talking about like uh, Towerborn or Born Tower, no, Towerborn, I think it's called. Ara, these, ti these titles are not first party really, but they will be exclusive still. And um, now we know that Stalker 2 is coming out next year, so it's not a first party title and it's probably a timed exclusive, but it will be a day one in Game Pass. So it's going to be a big title for uh, Xbox 2 and that's next year. So like even right now, we could we can actually say that next year is going to be pretty good too. and. That's not even considering any games that haven't been announced yet for for next year. And I'm sure there's going to be some new games announced too. So um, is it going to be a new beginning of new era for Xbox? I do hope so. Because, you know, it's, it's about time that Microsoft delivers on their promises. They've been buying studios left and right. They've bought Bethesda. Now they are, are almost done with um, Activision acquisition. So hopefully that will go through soon. And, you know, it's time to deliver, guys. Um, like like Phil Spencer says now, uh, enough talking. Now it's time to deliver the goods. And, you know, let's hope that Starfield is, is just the very beginning of, of that, right? And, like, they've got a ton of first-party titles. On top of that, they work with third-party developers and publishers to work on, um, you know, exclusive content too, just just like you know, Ara or that Battleborn, you know, Battle Tower, I think. You see, I keep forgetting the name of that game. It looks cool. It, it was even shown on, um, you know, that game by Stoic Entertainment. I keep forgetting the the name, the title, but still. My point is that it may very well be a beginning of new era for Xbox. I really do hope that's going to be the case. Um, you know, looks like all these titles, uh, you know, are finally coming to, uh, nicely together. Uh, and I know that COVID didn't actually help, but I guess it didn't help uh, nobody really. So, yeah, guys, um, looks like really exciting times are ahead of us and uh, and, and that's good. So guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.